The internal rate of return, or IRR, is produced in the basic analysis, sensitivity analysis, risk analysis, income statements, annual statements, and the utilities cash flow analysis. We're going to start off with basic. Even though it's showing years, Planes always calculates the internal rate of returns on a monthly basis. So if we switch the period menu item to monthly, you can see that it's actually showing the months and it calculates the IRR or the discounted cash flow on a monthly basis for each individual monthly cash flow. You can think of the internal rate of return as the annual rate or yield compounded annually that the investor will be paying you over the holding period. The better the yield, the better the investment. The IRRs and net present values and planes will equal the XIRR and X net present value in Microsoft Excel and Google Spreadsheets. Here we have a rate of return before debt of 13.8, and that will take into account all the cash flows in this cash flow before debt column. The cash flow before tax will in additionally subtract or add any of the debt service and give us our cash flow before tax column, and that's where the cash flow before tax IRR comes from. So you can think of the cash flow before tax as after debt. The reason why the before tax is higher than the before debt is because we have something called positive leverage. The annual yield or IRR before debt is higher than the loan interest rate. So we have leverage and it's positive because we're getting a higher rate than the loan interest rate. So the IRR before tax or after debt is higher than the before debt because we have positive leverage. Whenever that's the case, that is the definition of positive leverage. If it was, if the rate of return before tax was less than the rate of return before debt, then we would have negative leverage. Let's go to page three and look at it after tax. And the after tax IRR takes every account everything that's in the after tax cash flow. So the advantage of the IRR is that it takes everything into account. The disadvantage of the IRR is it takes everything into account, meaning that it takes into account every assumption. So if there's any weaknesses in any assumptions, that weaknesses will be shown in the rate of return. That's the advantage of sensitivity analysis. Now we're going to exit. And before we go to sensitivity, let's go to the report and go to income statements. And we're going to look at this on a yearly basis. And the income statements will show the rates of the return for each year. And this assumes that you sell the property in that year. So if we're looking at a four-year rate of return, that's actually what it's doing. It's saying we're selling it at the end of four years or selling it at the end of five years. If you go to the end of this report, these IRRs will match the rate of returns that were shown in the basic analysis. You can also see the rate of return in the annual statements. And you can pick any year you want. And if you sold the property in that year, these would be the rate of returns. And again, if you go to the last year, the rate of returns will equal the rate of returns that were shown in the basic analysis. Let's talk about months and years. So because Planes calculates everything on a monthly basis, you can start the property in any month you want. So here we're going to start it in 12.07. So you can start any month you want and have it go any length of time you want. Now we'll have it go 98 years. If we go to basic analysis, it calculates that on a monthly basis. And you can see we're starting in 2008. And if we scroll all the way down, Planes has calculated the cash flows and the rates of return all the way to 2105. So you can do up to a 99-year um, IRR in Planes and have it start in any month you'd like. If we exit, now let's go to utilities, cash flow analysis. And here you can import the cash flows so that you can export them and do a verification in Excel or Google Spreadsheets if you like. So here we're going to go File, Import, Cash Flows, and choose a rate of return after tax cash flows. And that brings in the cash flows, and you can see how they're calculated. And if you change any individual number in here, the IRR will automatically recalculate. Now we're going to exit and go to Sensitivity Analysis. And here we can vary things against the rate of return, and this is really important because the rate of return takes everything into account you need to be able to vary things and see how they affect the rate of return before we do that we're still doing a 98, 98 year IRR which is uncommon so we're going to switch back and do a 10 year rate of return and go to sensitivity and then let's vary in this case we're doing a development so we're going to vary the structure 
When we vary that amount, it gets the rate of return after tax. Not only are we varying the the amount itself, we're changing all the different loans and after-tax calculations that are linked to that. And so when we, that is the advantage of the rate of return is it takes all of that into account. And this would be the um, equal to the annual compounded yield that you would see in other investments. We also can do that in risk analysis where we can vary many things. So we'll just pop a couple things up here. And then we'll run that against the rate of return. And here it shows as long as we are within these options, we'll be somewhere between 17 and 19 percent rate of return. So you can vary many assumptions at the same time and see statistically which rate of returns will come up. We'll click on exit. And those are the different areas that you can view internal rate of return inside of Planes.